The Wisconsin Dells is a magical place. Nowhere else in the Midwest can you find such a dense collection of things to do, especially as a family. Over the decades, more and more of these attractions have piled onto one road, Highway 12, otherwise known as the Wisconsin Dells Parkway. This road is the main thoroughfare of the Dells, where most of the main resorts are located. It's broken into two sections, the north section and the south section. Separated by a light and a 90 degree turn, these two sections are not the same. The southern section is home to the big all-season resorts, such as the Wilderness, the Kalahari, and the original Great Wolf Lodge. This road is large with two lanes in each direction, protected turn lanes, frontage roads, a bike lane, and large sidewalks. While not perfect, this section of road rarely ever backs up and is overall quite efficient in getting everyone where they need to go safely. On the other hand, the northern section is pure chaos. It also has four lanes, but it has no center median for turns. This means any left-hand turn would block at least half of the road and cause large cascades. There are hundreds of driveways, with some businesses having up to a dozen just to manage the volume of cars. The sidewalks are cramped, there's no bike lanes, and there's a rat nest of wires overhead. Both of the main resorts on the road, Mount Olympus and Noah's Ark, have uncontrolled entrances into their respective parking lots, which causes immense chaos at park close. I've witnessed many close calls on this part of the road, and there have been countless accidents as well. Thankfully, this is all finally being fixed, with a large-scale road construction project set to kick off very soon. This two-and-a-half-year-long project will completely redo the section of the road, improving the safety and ease of access for every property on the road for years to come. Starting at the north end of the parkway, the road will be widened to be a total of five lanes across, two lanes each for northbound and south southbound traffic, with a fifth center lane that will either have medians with dedicated turn lanes or be a bi-directional turn lane. There will also be widened, separated sidewalks on both sides, along with bike lanes in each direction along the curb. These bike lanes are crucial, as many international workers call the Dells their home each summer and often don't own cars. Electric scooters or bikes are a cheap and easy way to get places faster, and giving those vehicles a dedicated space away from the pedestrians is great for everyone. There's a potential for a brand new traffic light to go in, servicing Timbavadi, Ghost Outpost, Lost Temple, and a new development that is just north of Lost Temple. This traffic light would help ease congestion for both of these semi-major parks and would overall help the flow and safety of everybody in the area. Mount Olympus would be losing their main day guest parking lot entrance, labeled number five in this picture. They own Top Secret next door, however. It would make the most sense to me if they moved the large statues that they had at entrance five over to entrance four. That would allow them to use the newly upgraded traffic light at driveway four as their main day guest entrance. They may also use driveway eight down here. However, I suspect that they will continue to use this uncontrolled exit as a exit at the end of the day to get people out and going north rather than using it as a main intake at any point. Moving on to the next section shows a majority of the Mount Olympus property showing mostly standard stuff here. The bike lane looks like it raises up to the same height as the sidewalk and everything compresses in a little bit while retaining all traffic lanes. These existing businesses here are pressed pretty tight to the road so it makes sense that the road itself would have to compress to fit in the space. Mount Olympus properties also lose seven driveways in total with five being fully deleted and two being converted to emergency access only. This is interesting as many of these driveways, especially driveway 14, is the main way that resort guests typically enter and exit the main resort buildings. This gives the first hint of a much larger project going on at Mount Olympus. One small thing I found interesting is the large amount of land behind uh, Mount Olympus that is vacant. I always figured something would be built here eventually, not that Mount Olympus needs more land at this point, but I figured at the rate that they're growing that they're going to need some more space at some point. That seems like it'll be a little bit harder though, as it's all FEMA flood zone, which I guess uh, makes sense why it hasn't been developed so far. Moving on to the next section shows the big new project. There's a brand new road going in called Olympus Road. This will serve as the main new entrance for Mount Olympus resort guests. This road, which is likely to have its own dedicated traffic light, is being built right now between Belux and the former building eight and nine. I say former as these photos from the Dell's Facebook group show that these buildings are no longer. This road is a completely separate project, likely funded privately by Mount Olympus, to en enhance and simplify the traffic flow of their main resort area. Overall, it'll be really nice to have this new entrance for the Mount Olympus area. It's kind of a chaotic 
uh, place to figure out, especially the first time that you go there. And having this new, nice new road going in here will be a lot easier to get to all of their different resort buildings back there. Moving back onto the main highway, you can see that this section of road actually is losing at least 27 separate driveways. Yeah, you could probably see how chaotic this road is to drive on currently. Lots of traffic and confusion. The other major resort in this section is Noah's Ark. I love Noah's, but my god is the entrance awful. The ideal flow of traffic is to enter in one of the two barely marked driveways in front of Flash Flood, and then drive all the way around the park to the main parking lot. Then you exit near the employee dorms. This is especially frustrating as Palace owns the Flamingo Resort right in front of the water park and could easily build bulldoze a building or three and give the park a nice entrance. In fact, they used to have a secondary entrance right here, but that hasn't been used in years, at least since the Flamingo closed in 2019. Relocating the entrance would also allow for this landlocked park to have a lot of flat buildable land for future expansion. But with Palace allegedly up for sale, who knows what will happen to this storied water park. And finally, the southernmost section of the plan will be mostly standard stuff, dodging cemeteries here and removing 15 driveways there. The only other thing to note is that they won't be replacing the bridge over Springbrook Creek, which means that the road will go down to four lanes instead of having a fifth turn lane, which makes sense, it's a bridge, and the bike lane will also disappear for a short section. But realistically, they'll be spending a lot of money on this project already, so this is a reasonable compromise. This is undoubtedly a very large project and will take a while to complete. It looks like the project is slated to break ground in the spring of 2026, with utility work beginning a year before. With an estimated completion of spring 2028, it'll, this entire project will take roughly two and a half years. A lot of this is due to the immense scale of the project and also the need for the entire road both lanes in both directions to be open during the day in the summer season as that's the only time that the seasonal end of the Dells really makes any money. Overall, while it will certainly be a long and large headache, especially for locals, this sort of upgrade is beyond due for this part of the Dells. Once completed, it'll be safer and easier than ever to live and play in the Dells for decades to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.